The next step in setting up a web service is to build the WSDL file. The information needed in the file is in the interface that was written earlier and in an XML file called the service config file. This is a relatively simple XML file. All it does is specify some things about the service. It defines the names of the service, the namespace to be used inside the WSDL file, the name of the Java package holding the service classes, and the full name of the interface class. Remember, the interface defines the service methods, so we have everything needed to create the WSDL file. Fortunately, there is a program that will do this for us. It will accept the service config file as input and produce the WSDL file as output. It's as easy as that. It's just one command, but I put it inside a script file anyway. Here you see the command that runs the program named wscompile. This program reads the service config XML file and uses the information in it to produce the text of the WSDL file. The define option is an instruction to the program that is to read the information input to it and produce a WSDL file. The ND option is followed by a period which tells the compiler that the output file is to be placed in the current directory. The class path option also followed by a period which tells the program to look for the input files in the current directory. If you'll remember, the name of the interface in the XML file is written as a path name to the package, so WS Compile will find it from here. You can find out more information on the WS Compile program by looking for it in the documentation that comes with J2EE. Now here's the file that this command generated. And here's what it looks like. It's a SOAP file, an SOAP file, and if you remember, SOAP is written in XML, so it's a collection of XML tags. As you can see, it has the definition of the method and the values passed to it and returned from it. It has a lot of SOAP namespace tags and URLs. Fortunately, you don't have to do anything with this file, but you do have to have it. There is one more file that you need to create. It's the mapping file. This is an XML file. It isn't that long, and most of it is exactly the same for every service. To create your own web service, you can just copy this file and change the contents of the names of the tags for package type and the namespace URI. And that's it. The ground has been laid for the deploy tool to start its work, and we'll be doing that in the next movie.